Greetings and salutations, everybody. It is Klautos again here with another episode of Fantasia. I did a little extra work on the lumber mill here. I fixed the windows. I didn't really like the way that they were looking. There's a bit too much, um, too much fence in there. I think it looks okay on these little ones, but for the big ones, it was just too much. So I redesigned them a little bit, put a little bit of an arc in there and brought the awning up one and just put them here on the sides. I think that looks okay. I also added some oak leaves around it. So we have some bushes and some coarse dirt in here because obviously this grass is gonna be completely shredded up. So yeah. And I also went around the houses and added some leaves up there as well. So what I wanna do in this episode is uh, I don't know how, how much I will get, but the next thing I need to do is make a place to store my stone. Um, I think I'm gonna hold off on the lighthouse for now because it's not terribly important. Um, so, and here's our mines. I uh, went ahead and transformed, remember before, this was all just that super ugly wall of cobblestone. <laughs> So I came up with this little sort of design that takes you down under here into the into the mines and uh, Mike could do a little bit of work on it still because I'm pretty close to hitting my head on these and uh, eh, whatever, <laughs> but it looks better than the uh, The cobblestone monstrosity that was here. So anyway, so I want the stone uh, shop the the mason to be sort of right in front of it like right here and out of the back door of it, there's going to be a little path leading over to the mines. So this is sort of where it's going to go in this general area. I haven't quite uh, plotted it out yet because before I plot it out, I need to have sort of a, a village circle, you know, or, or a town square, whatever you call it. Uh, so I think this is a good center point. It's right in the center of this path here. Hello, horsey. And... Uh, yeah, so it's about roughly eight blocks to there and to there and so I sort of did this uh, Crappy circle. I don't want it to be a perfect circle, you know, or a perfect square Because this is just a little fishing town. So I mean, I don't think they're too Concerned with you know making a perfect circle or whatever. So I just sort of have these uh, path blocks here to sort of uh, basically uh, serve as sort of the framework or the backbone of where the path is going to be. And I think, so the stone shop is going to go there, and I think up here on this hill, I had to put all this dirt here. Uh, I think up here is going to be sort of the town hall, the mead hall, as, you, as you'd have it back then. And uh, so this is where the the villagers can come over here and kick back, tell stories, drink their mead and their ale, have a jolly good time. And, uh, and of course, the, uh, uh, what do you call him, the town uh, lord of the town, I guess, the, uh, you know, the master of the village or whatever. He'd have his throne in here, you know, and probably be like over back here somewhere. Uh, but that's a project for another time. But I do want to show you what all I've done. Um, this, I still need to add dirt blocks to cover up this, because obviously it cannot stay like this. But down under here, this was all, like, as you can see, this was a cave system that came up to the surface. So this area, if you go back and watch the previous videos, I walk over here from time to time. But this area was all... Uh, visible to the sky this was all so I had to cover it all up with uh, well we don't want to do that let's, let's put that back didn't mean to do that super powerful shovel so uh, yeah this was all open to the sky and I didn't want that so um, I had to cover it up and I did and now I have to find my way out and here it is okay so we can cover this back up like that and yeah so so we're gonna have to cover this to make it, uh, to give it sort of a natural, gradual slope that takes it down like that, over into that area. Um, so, I did a little bit of that over here, 
and uh, and over here as well. So this comes up here, and I think I'm gonna have some some wood stairs right here leading up to the town hall. And oh, I destroyed two of them. And it'll be pretty cool. And I think I'm gonna have sort of a retaining wall um, made of stone, cobblestone, and andesite, sort of blocking off from here all the way around to there. It'll be this sort of curved uh, retaining wall. And I think that'll look nice as well. So I haven't quite worked out on a design for it. Uh, probably won't be anything too spectacular because it is just a wall. Uh, so let me go ahead and get, uh, get that done and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I had to go back to the lake house to take a little nap because I forgot to bring my bed with me. But here is the retaining wall. Nothing terribly fancy, as usual, for this not fancy town. Uh, so yeah, that's how it's going to go. The main uh, mead hall will be up there. And I have a plot here for the stone shop. So... Let's go ahead and get that foundation laid. It looks like this is about as far back as it's going to want to go. Maybe right there. Wrong material. Let's switch that. That's what we want. So let's say it goes about like this, maybe. Nah, a little less. This doesn't have to be really all that big. It's really just a storage facility for all my stone. So I think the facade is going to be right about here. So yeah, a couple more blocks, maybe like this. And let's see, I don't want it to be square. Let's avoid squareness. So let's bring this out and we'll bring this back. We'll give it sort of an L shape. And, and then back here in this area, there, this, this will be where the back door is that takes us to the mines. So maybe there. I think that's about right. Yeah, something like this. Groovy. So we can have, um, maybe the door will go right here. And all the storage can go all over this wall. And then right here can be sort of the, uh, I don't know, the desk. <laughs> you know, uh, the sales desk or whatever. Sort of like how we have in there. Um, yeah, so now we need some planks. I think um, I'm really starting to dig the way spruce is looking. So I'm thinking I might do the floors in spruce, but no. Nah, we'll, we'll stick with oak. We'll keep it pretty uniform for, for this town. So, okay. I don't have any wood. We must go get wood. Okay, so I'm going to fill this floor in and get the frame set up. And I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I got the frame set up. And I figured since this is a stone shop, maybe they should have a stone floor. And probably stone walls as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this building is going to look a little bit different. It'll be nice to have some variation in the buildings anyway. So this is the floor made of stone, stone slabs, and polished andesite. And I think it looks nice. And I think for the walls, we are going to use stone and regular andesite. So, and we'll just sort of mix it together. And I th we'll start with the stone and then we will add the andesite later, sort of in little speckles. And we'll give it a show. Okay, well, there's the first one. We'll uh, test it out on this wall and see see how we like it so let's see maybe there 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 and there and there maybe yeah we'll try that see what see what that looks like so boom 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 oh no no not you come back okay Mm. Yeah, I think that's okay. Although we need 
this one and this one. Oh, no, 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 no. There and there. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And of course, we'll have a window in there and, and we'll do some other um, other stuff on the outside, uh, maybe like a row of slabs or something. We'll have some bushes down here. You know, we'll make it look nice. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these walls done. And then I'll be back with you guys in a second. And we will start on the roof. Okay, what's up, y'all? I'm back. I got the walls done. And I think they look pretty good. Um, they'll look better once we get the roof on. We add a little bit more embellishment on it. Uh, but for now, it's fine. And I went ahead and put some chests in so I can get sort of an idea of where the stairs can go and etc etc so this will be sort of the attic which will have some extra storage in it and I think this roof is going to be a uh, higher roof sort of like uh, uh, not that house but that house way over there yeah okay <laughs> so yeah I'm excited about this awesome I get to store my stone finally and they don't have to be confined to this little bitty house way over there it'll be awesome greatness alright so I'm not gonna force you to uh, watch me build another roof cuz here I go again and this is gonna take a little bit so I'll see you guys in just a second okay I'm back got the roof done and it is almost finished I just need to put some bushes around the outside added a little counter here for uh, you know the uh, customer service dude and I'm thinking about maybe eventually once I find some villagers putting some villagers in here in these little spaces like over there in the in the wood shop and in here uh, maybe but that's not going to be for a while. So here's the upstairs where we have extra storage. So we can store tons of stone. All kinds of stone. <laughs> so yeah, here's a back door. It looks really good from this side. I like how that came out. Uh, don't really like the front of the building all that much. It's kind of, eh, whatever. <laughs> but we'll just go ahead and get some of these bushes in there. That'll probably help a little bit it's really even I mean it's not even it's off center by one but still it's I might get rid of this column here I don't know we'll see we'll see it, it may grow on me who knows <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of decorate down here to sort of hide the foundation a little bit and I think we'll go ahead and just call it done for now and it's uh, always open to change, of course. Um, I'm thinking about adding some some upside down stone stairs going up along here, but I think that might be overkill. Um, you know, let's see how that looks. Just uh, it, yeah. See, here's the thing: it would have to either be uh, stone bricks, which I really don't want to use in this village. Uh, or it would have to be cobblestone and I really don't want to use cobblestone they need like a regular stone uh, stair you know <laughs> that would be awesome and what's up with the andesite stairs the andesite slabs you know that would be great as well I like the way the andesite works with the stone it looks they look very good together uh, and with the cobblestone and I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of cobblestone, but I think if you if if you use it right, then it can it could work. So so yeah, this is the beginning of our of our little town square here. Uh, I think uh, I'm I th I'm thinking about putting a well here in the middle, but there's a big old lake right over there. So I don't know. I don't know about putting a well here. Something else, maybe. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think I should put here in the middle. Uh, typically around a village, 
they would usually be centered around the wells because everybody needed water, right? So everybody wanted their house as close to the well as possible. So everything would be centered around the well. But in this case, we've got a, a lake over there. So it might not be entirely necessary to have a well. Although they do look nice and they can they add a little bit more atmosphere to the place. So I think I might end up doing that. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I might do it by the end of this episode. So, your comments may be nil. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so, I need to get all of my stone stuff moved over into these chests. So, I think that's what I'm going to do right now. It's going to take me a little while. So, I'll be back with you guys when that's done. And I'll see you in a second. Okay, I am back. I went ahead and moved all the storage upstairs because I figured they need a place to work in here. So, I've got all this blocked off, so the customers are not allowed back there. Authorized personnel only. And so they got their water here, and they got some stone that they're working on, and some stone that they finished here. See? Look at their nice handiwork. <laughs> it looks so fantastic. Uh, yeah, so this is where they're going to be doing their masonry. And, um, oh. Uh, well, yeah, I'll show you this first. So here's the path going over to the mines. La-di-da. And I think right here, I'm going to build a small grinder. And typically, they are round. And I'm going to try to make it round. But it's probably not going to look round. <laughs> but it's going to be a grinder. So I need to get some, some stone some cobblestone, some iron bars, and yeah, just a few things. So here is where the stone shall be. So we'll get a stack of that. We'll get a stack of, ooh, we'll do a stack of cobble. We need something for the wheel, which I think, and sandstone would be good for that. So I'm gonna make some sandstone just for that. And uh, yeah, oh, so, Stone bricks and all their components, stone and stone slabs, cobblestone, andesite, diorite, granite. This is all the crafted items. And this is going to be specials, things that are relatively difficult to attain. So we got our diamond and our obsidian in there. These are all of our ores and just valuable stuff. Uh, empty, empty and sand and sandstone are going to go in here so oh and gravel and flint go there so that should be plenty of storage for a while at least and um i can always stack these up a little bit more if i need to um i could even put like another row of chests right here in the middle i could rearrange this anytime so but that's probably not going to happen for a very long time if ever because i think for the size I want this town to be, this is pretty much all the storage I'm going to be accumulating. So anyway, so let's get some sandstone. And I have a feeling that that would make a good, although sandstone is very, very soft, <laughs> I think it'll make a good wheel or it may make a better uh, platform, better grinding platform. So let's make a few more of those. So what I want to do is come over here and we need to make a circle. So let's have, instead of cobble, we want something a little sturdier and harder for um, the base. So we'll use regular stone. And I figure maybe this will be the center right here. That should be enough space. So we'll go out like so. And one more. This is, this is how I make things round. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it like this. And then, man, that's really it right there. But I guess we could sort of do this. And that, that might, yeah, I think that's fine. I think that'll, I think that'll work just fine. So, um, so let's see. 
we need our iron fences for the middle and then the wheel is going to be attached to that where did I put those those are here bam uh maybe if some rails going around might be cool we'll try that see see how that looks we're gonna need a button for the middle of the wheel I'm gonna call it a wheel but it's going to be a block <laughs> this is probably gonna look pretty crummy but you know whatever we'll give it a shot so let's see right there and there just like that and then the wheel is gonna come out like I kinda wanna put it at an angle but not yeah I don't think we're gonna be able to do it at an angle so we'll have it like uh, like this and then we'll put our um, we can't use cobble for that because that's just gonna fall apart man we really need to use a stone block for that so here's what we'll do we'll do a stone block there that'll be our wheel that goes round and round and then right here on the inside we'll have uh, sandstone and we'll just pretend like the sandstone is really hard <laughs> and uh, and yeah we'll just I don't know we'll see we'll see how it ends up looking because as long as it looks good I'm happy it doesn't have to look perfect but you know just something yeah I kind of I kind of like that because then it's like you got all this it's kind of got this dusty look to it because it's you know sandstone so like you're grinding the stone down to make a powder and so I guess it kind of makes sense to have sandstone there even though it's a totally different color um, yeah we're gonna need a, a little bit more so let's run over here real quick and get some sand and we need to find a desert we do uh, but for now this will do um, yeah I think what I'm gonna do in this area by the way while I'm here um, is I would like to um, make a retaining wall going all the way around this water here sort of like how we did up there in the uh, in the square and I think that'll look really cool over in this area as well and let's get the here and we can fix this later not right now so let's go back on over to our shop and the front of it is kind of growing on me a little bit it needs something still though it's it's missing something I don't know we'll figure it out so let's get our sand oh we need to turn it into stone sandstone I like the way this looks this is a cool little area in here little work area all right, so sandstone, there we go. All right, and we will fill it in here, just like that. So now it kind of looks like, uh, yeah, like a little, like a wheel. But what it needs now is a handle so that whoever's pushing the wheel can go around and and wheelize it. <laughs> uh, but that's going to look really funky because it's going to be like stuck it's going to be stuck to the to that so that that looks like crap so we don't want to do that um, let's see how else can we get that to look right you know we might as well no we'll keep that the same um Let's put a little uh, put a little roof on it, a little sandstone roof. Why not? Oh, and we're out already. Okay, sandstone it will not be. <laughs> Let's try. Uh, well, you know what? Wood. Let's try wood. We have to go all the way back over to the lumber mill to get it. See, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but. That's sort of what I was talking about with the immersion of the world, you know? You need wood, you gotta go to the wood shop. 
that's just that's just how it is so let's do uh, I think I want to do spruce for this because all the houses have um, uh, let's see we need to we'll just go ahead and grab a whole bunch this is way more than we need but uh, that's okay and hmm how can I make that wheel look good I'm, I'm racking my brain to try to come up with a design for it where you can tell what it is and it doesn't look too crummy so oh, we need to sleep let's go take a quick nap and you can only sleep at night so I'm gonna stand here for a minute and take a sip of my coffee okay y'all I am back and the grinder is finished and I think it looks okay uh, I ended up going with granite here because granite is really heavy and really hard and difficult to break so that is what I went with and I added those buttons just for some uh, you know just for some extra crushing and grinding power and yeah it looks looks pretty good I think put some uh, coarse dirt over here I ran out of uh, gravel though so I need to go get a little bit more I'd like to put a few more spots of it sort of in this general area and that is that so yeah I am really happy with this build except for the face I think probably in between episodes I'll do a little more work on the front of it uh, I'm just not really that happy with the way it looks from the front however I think it looks good from the back probably because it's not so flat <laughs> uh, anyway we'll figure it out so if you did enjoy this episode please hit the like button leave me a comment let me know if you have any ideas of some things you'd like for me to build in here and I'd greatly greatly appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe so you can see what happens in the next episode I think we're gonna tackle the town square over there and if not that then we'll do the lighthouse or I might do the lighthouse in between episodes I'm not quite sure so anyway guys thanks for watching I really do appreciate it have a good one